Are you sitting in a jail or a prison right now? Are you going into the prison system right now? Are you thinking about what you will be doing with your life while you're in prison? My recommendation is you start thinking about developing skills that will help you emerge into society and be able to create immediate value because it's really difficult to find employment out here, particularly if you have a felony background. I've always considered myself to be unemployable. That means I have to create my own income streams and I've been doing that since I got out of prison in, in 2013. Uh, so, you know, you can see all that journey here, but this is really about you and some steps that I'm trying to create to open job opportunities, particularly for people who are coming back into society after prison. Now, I can't give a job to everybody. I can only hire people if they have the right skill set that will bring value to the business that I am building. See, that's the nature of the world, right? I mean, we don't, we're not entitled to anything. We have to create our own opportunities. Well, some of the opportunities that I'm creating uh, allow me to hire formerly incarcerated people, and we have a number of people on our team. So here is an immediate job for somebody that wants to, that has exceptional skills. And you can just look at this page that I'm scrolling through right here, and you will see that we are striving to provide income opportunities for people coming out of prison. This page offers insight for writing, editing jobs for people that want to work as independent contractors. We offer this training page as a guide for writers. We strive to hire formerly incarcerated people as writers and editors. The starting wage is $25 per hour. That's a livable wage in society. But I can't pay that to somebody if they can't write well, if they can't communicate well, which is all the more reasons why you should be following the lessons that I offer in this book, Earning Freedom, a daily journal. This is the way that I came out of prison and started to create my own income opportunities. It's the same thing I'm suggesting that you do. We never ask anybody to do anything that we are not doing. And so the writers, what they should be able to do is if a person has exceptional writing skills, exceptional editing skills, exceptional communication skills, exceptional critical thinking skills, and that person is filled with honesty and integrity, we can help them get started. And really, we're just a bridge, right? We understand that you want to go out there and make, you know, a, a hundred grand a year, 200 grand a year, 300 grand a year. I get that. And I would love to help you do that. But I can't take you on your word that you can do it all. I've, I, I've done that a lot. I've hired a lot of people and, and I was disappointed, frankly, in their ability to produce work. So this is about being self-directed and having a really good work ethic, but you've also got to have the skills. You can't fake it. I couldn't go into a hospital and pretend to be a doctor and take a job uh, with, with, with some type of um, medical that requires medical knowledge. I couldn't take a job as an engineer and somebody hire me as an architect and I don't know how to draw. I can't get a job in any industry where I don't have the requisite skill set. The requisite skill set that I need are people that can put words into paragraphs, paragraphs into sentences, build effective stories to teach people how to avoid government investigations and white collar crime. And I've got a format to do that. And that's what this template here does. It kind of explains it for people that are new to our team. It shows you what I'm striving to create. This is a task. I want to create a series of case studies that follow a very specific sub, very specific format because it's not just writing the case study, right? There's a lot more that goes into it after that. It's got to go into quality control. It's got to then go into the technology department where I publish this into a learning management system that I've built, a technology platform. It's got to be able to have a, a, a quiz to, that, 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 that results with a QR code that we can demonstrate somebody's commitment to excellence and a pursuit of law-abiding behavior. It's got to be something basically that I can bring to the corporate market and the corporate market will receive. So think of how a U.S. attorney writes. Think of how a business executive writes. It's always really clean, good English, and we need to, re to receive that type of information. We also need good graphic artists. We need good marketing people. You know, so I, but, but this is a specific video that shows what do I need with regard to writers. And so I offer that information here. I, I try to give a little bit of information of how to structure it.
because I know if you're coming out of prison, you may not be familiar with some of the Google optimization techniques and the search engine optimization techniques. So I offer a little few guidelines here. This meta description is rather important. It sounds kind of complicated for somebody who doesn't understand. Basically, it's just a, it's just, if you're thinking about, well, actually I can show you, I can go here to Google and let's say that I want to learn something about um, white collar crime. What is it? White collar crime. I just plug that in. I see something that comes up, the FBI, right? It presents me a article here and it, that little blurb right there, that is a meta description, okay? These are meta descriptions, what follows here. They tell the reader what you can expect to find if you click into the article. So I need you to be thinking about that when you're writing. The agency profiled, I wanna show that. I want to describe the name of the person, the company that is profiled. I want to put tags in there. So if people are searching for something, they find it. For example, if you type in here, how do I prepare for sentencing, right? If somebody types that in there, what are they going to find? Well, look at there. The first thing that comes up is an article that I wrote with a video, with other information, right? There's quite a bit of stuff there that I have that's organically populated because we've taken the time to create that information. There's my other partner's uh, articles, right? There's videos, there's all these types of information and that's what I am looking to create. Something that has value, an annotation. I really just want you to write a simple two or three sentence word about what this article is supposed to look like and then there's the article itself. And the article itself must follow these descriptions. Okay, and then at the end of the articles, you see I have these different subheadings there. I think I'm gonna bold this. Uh, I'm gonna edit this page as soon as we bold that so that we know that those are subheadings, right? And I need that information in every subheading. And then we've got a quiz at the end of the quiz. And then if there are sources, plug the sources in. That's all I need, right? If you wanna see what one looks like, I can go back to my website here under case studies and just click on a case study and Let's go down to one of the bottom ones that are complete. Let's go to Deck Wong, Wong Kang. There's Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. This is an example of a case study that has all of those components measured in it, right? So that's the way it's ultimately going to look. This is what, actually this is before I did an edit on these things, so that's not accurate. But um, eh, this is close. I probably did a lot of editing to this because this is an earlier uh, thing. But in any event, you can get the idea of, of what the what they were supposed to look like. Actually, my wife did one yesterday that is is complete. And if I can find that, I think it's right here. Let me see. Ah, I don't recall where I put it. Oh, there's yeah, it's right there. We did this one yesterday. So you see, this is what the finished product looks like. There is a video. There is a situation, purpose, learning objectives. You could just follow this article as a uh, sample. And in fact, I will put this on this page below at uh, the page below. I will use this. Well, I got to find it again, but I will, I will go ahead and, um, and add this link in there so that you can see to the bottom of this page. In any event, I hope that you will join us. I believe in you. You've got to start working today to start sowing seeds for the success that I know you can achieve in the future. And our team at Compliance Mitigation or Prison Professors, I'm actually publishing this video on Prison Professors. It's because I, this is a training program, right? Specifically, we, incar we, we, we provide jobs for formerly incarcerated people. Every person on our team, as you see here, has gone through a government investigation of some sort, and we are striving to uh, make fewer American citizens uh, guests of the criminal justice system. And we'd love for you to join our team um, and uh, just, want, just, want, just want to show you how we are building. I am Michael Santos with Prison Professors and Compliance Mitigation, thanking you on behalf of our entire team for considering joining us. And uh, we look forward to uh, developing a relationship. Thank you.